Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are fine. Today we're diving into a critical topic that has been on everyone's mind, the delay in Iraq going international with its currency exchange rate, currently pegged at 1,310 dinars to the US dollar. It's been 8, 9, 10 months now and many are wondering why Iraq hasn't moved forward on the global stage with this rate. To understand this situation, we need to look at the broader economic context. Iraq has been undergoing significant reforms to stabilize its economy, attract foreign investment, and rebuild its infrastructure roads, pavements, buildings, schools, you name it. All these initiatives require substantial funding, and naturally, one would think that having an international exchange rate could facilitate these efforts by providing access to global markets and investors. So, why the delay? One possible reason is that Iraq might be waiting for a more favorable moment to enter the international financial markets. The current rate of 1,310 could be seen as a temporary measure, while the government and the Central Bank of Iraq work behind the scenes to stabilize the economy further. But stabilization isn't just about a number. It involves creating an environment where capital can flow freely, which is something Iraq currently struggles with. The lack of freedom of capital movement, meaning investors can't easily move money in and out of the country, makes Iraq less attractive to foreign investors. And without these investors, funding large-scale infrastructure projects becomes incredibly challenging. This brings us to the concept of a real effective exchange rate, RIA. For Iraq to truly participate on the global stage, it needs a RIA that reflects the true value of its currency based on multiple factors, including inflation, interest rates and economic growth. The current rate of 1,310 might not accurately represent Iraq's economic reality or its potential. It's like having a price tag that doesn't match the product's true value. Without a realistic exchange rate, Iraq will find it difficult to attract the level of foreign investment needed to rebuild and grow its economy. Moreover, putting Iraq on forex at the current rate could expose the economy to speculative attacks and volatility which the country might not be prepared to handle just yet. Forex trading involves high risks and demands a certain level of economic stability and investor confidence, both of which Iraq is still working towards. In summary, while it might seem frustrating that Iraq hasn't gone international with the current exchange rate, there are likely good reasons for this delay. The country needs to ensure that it can provide a stable environment for foreign investors, with a realistic exchange rate that reflects its economic conditions. Until then, we may continue to see Iraq on the sidelines of the global financial markets, preparing for a moment when it can make a more confident and effective entry. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe for more updates and analysis on the Iraqi dinar and other economic news. See you next time.